I'm Ruth Messenger, and I would like to thank the organizers of this fasting chain, as well as all of you who I hope will be joining me in the fast on either June 15th or 16th. For six years, the genocide has continued in Darfur, while the perpetrators, militia groups armed, funded, and supported by the government of Sudan, have gone largely unpunished. More than 450,000 people have died, tens of thousands of women and girls have been raped, and millions have lost their homes. They now languish in camps where unsanitary conditions and the spread of waterborne illness could soon lead to another large-scale wave of death. Thirteen of the largest aid groups serving the displaced population were expelled by the Sudanese government in March. Since that time, there has been tremendous instability in the available supply of food and potable drinking water. The hunger pains and parched throats in the camps serve as a constant reminder to the millions of Darfuri struggling to hang on that hope has limits. Each day, mothers and fathers look into the suffering eyes of their children, knowing, like all parents, that they would sacrifice anything for their children not to suffer, but also knowing that there is nothing they can do as long as they remain in limbo. A person can suffer no greater indignity than not being able to feed his or her children or prevent de dehydration that is often deadly. As difficult as it may be for us to function at a high level during our fasts, this type of hunger is reality for hundreds of millions of people worldwide. It prevents children from learning and adults from working productively to sustain economies. But just as importantly, it undermines the very kind of belief in a better future that is the lifeline for the world's most vulnerable. For those of us fasting for Darfur, our hunger is a choice and a temporary state. I am forever grateful that I am empowered. I can provide for myself and others. I do not have to know what it is like to have this feeling forced upon me day after day. But there are hundreds of millions worldwide, in Darfur and elsewhere, who feel powerless. They are crying, and we must hear them. Fast with me and let our hunger instruct us to listen. Fast with me and let our hunger instruct us to act. Thank you.